So, um, back, I think, to the topic at hand, which was the beef. So, lots of Christians hate it. We, you know, kind of established that. Um, what is your personal opinion on the beef and Christians? Okay. So, I've wanted to sit down and make this video specifically, like, three times probably. Um, and I had a lot to say about it because I did want to come from a Christian perspective on this. I do want to say up front, I can't sit here and lie to everyone. I, I was definitely tuned in with everything that was happening, even though like this whole channel, definitely like I'm trying to spread, um, the Christian music, um, kind of give it, give Christian music, um, like a chance to people that don't really listen to that kind of music. Because I know the influence that secular music can have on you, but yeah. um, like I, I can't lie, I definitely was tapped in with the whole thing, and I don't know. For me, it started out as um, just like a regular beef, like who, and I think the real thing was starting in first person shooter. Who could actually rap better? Who could write better? Like who could who is yeah. the actual best rapper? That was the whole discussion, and that was that. And that's what I was assuming is like who's gonna make the better song, uh, lyrically, uh, flow wise, and all that. And then it just turned into trashing <laughs> on each other, which I feel like that's something that a lot of people haven't talked about enough is the fact that it will. I feel like the whole thing like went way way south way fast. Because, like, that's the whole point of this beef was to see who was the GOAT, the greatest of all time rapper, not who had the most, like, skeletons in their closet kind of thing, <laughs> which I don't it know. It got so that, ugly. <laughs> that's kind, Yeah, that's kind of how I looked at it. And then um, I don't even know, you know who Sai Thy Legend is, right? Yeah, yeah. So during that time, he posted on his story. I screenshotted it, but... um. I don't even know if this was necessarily referencing the beef itself, but he was like, hate is murder, lying is imprisonment, love is choosing to live, truth is a free reality. So I think that did kind of tie into what was going on in the beef at the time. But thinking about that, like, as a Christian, we're not called to hate on each other because hating and, like, implying all the things that Kendrick and Drake were saying to each other that is not godly at all. So I've, I feel like that part, like the hating, the actual hating um, side of that, we definitely, like, we don't need that in the Christian hip-hop space. But I do respect, and I think that it's okay, we were talking about this in the Discord server, um, either today or yesterday, that it would be kind of nice to see some, like, friendly competition, like, in the CHH space. Yeah. Just, um, you know, as... I don't know, a way to see who could potentially be the best lyricist in the Christian hip hop space, but I don't know. That's mm. like part of what I was so gonna like say how, about the whole thing. So how would you you know get that like to see who's the best lyricist, how would you bring that about? Yeah, I, that's one thing. Like we didn't really get that far in the discussion, but um I feel like if Kendrick and Drake were just making songs to see how well they performed that would be kind of different because then people could decide which song is better but um, i mean once again you could argue that that's the whole point of their careers yeah and in my opinion and i share the majority opinion kendrick mm -hmm. has obviously with the, he's too oh, he's too yeah too, he washes drake on, yeah I mean, and for that's, sure i think that honestly too many people aren't giving Drake enough credit because he mm -hmm. has dropped some of his best work in years. Not only lyrically, but I mean, like, they're bangers. They're actually yeah. bangers. Like, push-ups and Family Matters are in my top 100 within mm -hmm. within the first week. But so is Euphoria. Yeah. Uh, and and not Meet the Grams here because that one's low-key creepy at <laughs> yeah. times. Every time I hear him go, you lied. I was like, yeah. oh, my gosh. The <laughs> ghost voices in the background. Yeah. Um but euphoria is a banger um mm -hmm. and i just i just think that while you know the beef is cool i hear people um 
you know, saying like, oh, I wish it didn't get this aggressive or stuff like that. But how can you have kind of a beef without this type of aggression, if you know what I mean? Like yeah. a beef without this type of aggression is a beef. And, yeah, well, um, which then, I mean, I I don't know. For me, that kind of says maybe we shouldn't beef if that's the case. But I don't know. Like still, I feel like there could be. I think, Um, do you know who Alcott is? I know He's the a, name. I know the yeah. Name. I'm not super familiar with him, but um, he his Instagram came across my For You page a while back, so I mm -hmm. followed him, and he was saying something along the topic of this beef that, like, he, he's from Nashville, which is where I'm from, and he's like, we need more competition in this space. So I don't know if, like, beef is necessarily the word that I would use, but at least some kind of competition, but I don't know what that would look like necessarily. Because... I think, I think, um, you know, beef always ends dangerously, at least in the oh, mainstream yeah. world. Because mm -hmm. back then you had obviously the, the main beef, Tupac versus Biggie. Mm -hmm. Someone got shot. People ended up dying. Yeah. You know? And in this one, now you got these humongous accusations that has Drake. To, like, I don't even think Drake is ever going to recover from this. No. Um, I mean, I mean he's kind it of could even be true, so. It could even be true because, like, even though Drake accused Kendrick of stuff. Yeah. There's honestly, like, no proof that it's mm -hmm. true. But on the Drake side, there's there is a pretty good <laughs> so, amount, yeah. There's a pretty good amount of proof. It's like, okay, it's kind of obvious, but I mean. Which then, if that is the case, if what... Kendrick is saying about Drake is true what I am thinking to myself is like so does that make Kendrick right in what he was doing was does he just calling out someone him? who deserves to be but then again it's still like really hating on someone yeah. on a really deep level so that's I like these thoughts agree. have been like on my mind the last like two weeks just w watching this all spit like pan out yeah, I but, completely agree because even like the, the lyrics that have gotten really popular from Euphoria, I hate the way you walk, I hate the way you talk, I hate the way you dress. And then it's even gotten to the point where in Meet the Grams, Kendrick literally said, I'd wish you die. Yeah, I wish you weren't even born. Stuff. Yeah. yeah, I wish you weren't even born. It's just like, it got, it's now at a place where, I mean, and, and even... Drake's place got shot up. Yeah, like right after. And then there have been like uh, Drake uh, um, stores in France, I believe. I saw it on Reddit yeah. mm -hmm. that got vandalized. Yeah. So um, I think it's gotten a little bit like we're at the point. What What are we going to do? And I hear Drake's got, I mean, not Drake. Kendrick has five more diss tracks just ready mm -hmm. to go. That's what I hear. Yeah. And then. And 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 that Drake is testing the waters by fake leaking his own diss track. Yeah. So it, it's, it's, a, it's a crazy thing. It's yeah. It's insane. There's also a video out there of um, one of, I think it was either Kendrick or Drake's moles. Um, he was like on a podcast or something. Apparently Drake had paid some person from Compton like a hundred fifty thousand dollars to tell him stuff about Kendrick, and mm -hmm. the guy like lied to Drake just to get the money, and then this guy's coming out and he's giving all this information about Drake. So I think, like, it really proved a lot of what Drake or what Kendrick was saying true about Drake. Um, but I don't know if that's really confirmed or not. Mm. And like, like you said, that's that's the thing with the in the Christian world. We can't have that, especially yeah. with the artist. But one argument that I'm hearing so often is, should Christians be listening to the beef? Mm. And where I stand on that, and my because my brother has constantly mentioned it, you know. Yeah. Um, he goes, the beef is stupid. He thinks it's fake at first. I was like, no, it's not fake. Especially with where it's gone. It's not. It's not. Cause I, I thought I it could have been at first because I know J. Cole was dropping an album. 
Um, Drake has, I don't know, I'm pretty sure he's dropping an album this summer. And then Kendrick, since he came out um, on that verse, usually when he starts doing music, that means he's gearing up for an album. So I, at, at first I did think maybe it was all to promote all of their albums, but it, it was obvious after like the first song, Euphoria, um, it was definitely, or dropping Gimme 50, like that's not what that was, but. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just think though that everybody has their distractions, right? From the, mm-hmm. from the world and the hardships of life around us. And if I were to, just to tell you that, even as a Christian, that God is my distraction, 100%, I'd be lying. Yeah, and I don't want to lie, so you mm-hmm. know I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna say, you know, straight up, just yeah, the beef is a distraction, and as yeah. long as you just let it there, but at the same time, not let it become an idol, mm-hmm. where that's what you're focused on twenty four seven. The beef, the beef, the beef, the beef, the beef. As long as that's not what you're focused on, you should be fine. Yeah, and you shouldn't feel guilty or anything for enjoying. Uh, them beefing because i mean at the end of the day the mainstream hip-hop world notice i said mainstream not mm-hmm. christian that's what it's about you yeah know? they gotta they gotta you gotta see who's the best um who's you know at the end of the day just like the the at the top of the hill mm-hmm. and that's kendrick 